Hi, my name is Izzy and I'm a systems designer here at Sustainable Village and Blue Mat Watering Systems. And today we're going to be covering the assembly of the Arometer Low Tension Sensor. I have in front of me a number of pieces. We've got a cap for the tensiometer. We've got a body with the gauge already attached. If it's not attached, you just screw it in right there. It should already come with Teflon tape. And then we've got a ceramic tip. This is where the water exchanges with the soil and gives us the vacuum that tells us the soil moisture. We then have a bottle of aerometer fluid, which you add to the water that is going into this sensor. We've got a aerometer standard service unit. This is a pump used to purge the system of air and get everything properly primed. We've got a container to soak the tip of this aerometer in once everything is set up for at least an hour or so. And then we have some water that we're gonna add this aerometer fluid to so that we can fill the container. They say to add one capful to a gallon of water. So because this is one quarter of a gallon, we're just gonna add a quarter capful. Now this fluid is totally safe for skin contact, for contact with the soil. The green coloring is just a food dye, it's not a problem. So we're going to assemble the body of this aerometer now. And you can see that there is threading here and there is an o-ring. This o-ring helps to make an airtight seal. However, you can add some Teflon tape to this which will help make an airtight seal if you would like. See, you push it in, you can hear the pop, and then just screw from there. Lastly, you just put this cap in, and you can see that there is this green rubber stopper here. Uh, when you put this in and screw it closed, the rubber stopper makes a seal right here. This stopper separates the sensing body of the tensiometer and the top reservoir portion. Really, this is the site of where everything is going to be going on in terms of a vacuum being pulled through here and the gauge reading it. This is totally cut off. Now what we're going to be doing is soaking the tip of the serometer in this receptacle of water. And now we're just going to let this sit here for at least a couple of hours. Now that the serometer has been soaking for a period of time, we're going to take it out and we're going to go to the process of filling it up. So I'm going to take this cap off and we're going to fill the reservoir, this top portion, with the aerometer fluid. As you can see, this little hole in the bottom is small enough that the water does not want to break its surface tension and move down into it. So what we have to do is break the surface tension. You can do that by just tapping it. Make sure you don't fill this thing all the way up to the very top, otherwise you're going to get a lot of water on your hands. So, now that we've tapped this enough that the water is in the chamber, we now have to purge it of air with the vacuum pump that I showed you earlier. You can see that there's an air bubble in here, and there's naturally always an air bubble that's going to form right there. So what we're going to do is take the tip right here and insert it into the soil. And that's because when we're pulling a vacuum on the aerometer, we're not going to want to pull a bunch of air in with it through the porous ceramic. We're going to place the suction cup of it over the top of the aerometer, grab this portion, and pull up. You can see on the gauge there that as I pull it, it's pulling a pretty strong vacuum. You can stop pumping once you notice the bubbles are no longer coming into the top portion here. So you can grab this here and pull it off, and it's going to release air and break the vacuum. We're now going to take this cap and we're going to put it on and screw it nice and snug. This has been the Aerometer Setup video and you know just shoot us a call or send us an email if you have any questions whatsoever. You can always put a request through our website as well. Hope you have a great day.